New York and Yonkers have finally wrapped up $3 million worth of flood mitigation projects after Hurricane Irene and Sandy devastated significant parts of Westchester's largest city. News 12, Jonathan Morgan continues our Sandy 10 years later coverage with a look at the improvements and how it aims to protect lives and property from the next 100 year storm. It took almost a decade from storm to finish, but several projects to help alleviate flooding along the sawmill and Bronx rivers, along with the Springbrook watersheds are now complete. The work wrapped up over the summer. The idea is that they're going to keep the sawmill river back. It comes just shy of 10 years after storm surges as high as 14 feet during Hurricane Sandy led to record level flooding in Westchester's largest city. This endangered residents and public infrastructure, it flooded roads. Ways. Work included improving the berms at Odell and Clooney Avenues to prevent flooding, reconstructing streams by regrading the riverbanks to increase capacity, and removing dams and debris along the rivers to eliminate potential choke points and blockages. So that when we do get the big storm events, they're not over immediately overrun. Several sections in Yonkers have faced decades of flooding problems, and that was only highlighted during Hurricane Ida last year. With projects like this one behind them, the city of Yonkers is now looking ahead towards other ways to protect its neighborhoods from flooding, like creating underground storage for stormwater overflow, installing automated pumps to clear water from the neighborhoods back into the river, and possibly reconstructing the Metro North Bridge near the Bronxville train station. We have more to do, and we're this is a start, let's put it that way. We've got a long way to go. The city is currently applying for state and federal grants to move these ideas ahead. In Yonkers, Jonathan Gordon, News 12. Very interesting there. And now let's take a look at